Hello, thank you for joining Raspberry PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker and in this video I've just finished doing my last video which is a part of my playlist uh, would be the part uh, 19 um, of my playlist to do with my home heating and security control. Um, so this video is going to be about what I do with my video uh, when I've done it. Um, so I'm just going to bring up my recordings. This is the one that I'm currently doing now. Um, so I'm just going to start playing this one via VLC. So I can put it back to full screen so I can see everything. So this is how you would see it. Excuse me. Um, right, so I'm not going to keep this playing. Um, so I'm just going to tap that down. So as you can, you might be able to hear I'm not sure, because um, all I can hear is my talking of my video. Um, my voice, I don't talk very loud, so I have to adjust the audio. So I'll just stop that. Um, so what I do is I use Audacity. So in here, I use that. You can uh, change other um, music um, and make things a little bit better um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull by importing the audio <coughs> from my um, from my video that I just recorded and I just showed you on. So that's the one I'm currently on. So if I double click that one that's now going to import that video. Uh, I have no idea how long it was because I haven't checked. But it's going to take a minute and 13 seconds to pull. So there's not a lot I can do at this point. <laughs> but wait. So what I'm going to be doing Audacity is I'm going to I cough uh, as you may have noticed earlier um, now and then so nothing to do with any colds or anything I just uh, clear my throat um, so basically I'm gonna I review through the video footage um, looking for any sharp spikes um, and then I would edit them out um, but I'm not gonna go through all through my video uh, sorry the audio um, but I'll I'll give you a brief description on how what I do um, it's almost there this normally would be quicker but I am doing the screen capturing recording as well so it's keeping my my Raspberry Pi 4 busy So there you go, yeah, some nice spikes. So I'm just going to zoom in a little um, and then jump through and find a. I think that might have been a cough. Just click play. Yep, that was a cough. <laughs> um, and also my volume level. That was the highest point um, that I did when I coughed. So first of all, I'm just going to mute that down so I use my left click on my mouse and just drag and highlight that to white and then I click effect and amplify and what I do is I just really reduce it down to about 25 and you can listen to it um, I'm not bothered if I can just slightly hear it um, because um, at least you know why there's uh, there's no talking going on so 30 will do so I'll click OK and now you can see that that cough has disappeared to a little little speck um, so that's what I do with my, with my coughs so I'm just going to make this will show the selection this will show everything so I know I've got something here um, so I'm just going to zoom in on that 
So what is that? Because that's quite a big spike. So I'm just going to click play. That's me. <laughs> that's me clicking. Um, so there again. I'm just going to highlight over there. And there's a shortcut that you can do. Um, but if you notice here, if I click on the effect, it says repeat amplify control R. So I can do that on my keyboard, or if I can click that, and it's just reduce the um, the volume of me clicking my fingers like that that you probably will hear now and I will have to edit out um, when I edit this video um, right so that's what I do with my coughing states um, but that's that so what I do now is I would zoom out go back to the beginning by clicking this button so it's there and if I click play see that is my voice level which isn't very loud so I have to boost that to about here um, to get that volume to be better for when you're um, obviously viewing the video so what I do is I um, I control A on my keyboard which highlights everything uh, and then I click effect and amplify um, but this time because I've got these weird spikes in there it's not giving me much amplification so what I want to do is um, that is the highest that it recommends otherwise you can't preview it and it'll sound awful um, it'll distort so like I say I would have got rid of them but I'm not going to go through all of it um, so that's the maximum I'm going to go with but what I'll do is I'll just put four in for now and then I can listen. Hello, thank you for joining Vast Pipe. It has boosted it up. So it's nearer to the 12 rather than being down here ish. Um, but normally I could get that to, when I get rid of my silly cough bits, um, I can get 10 to 15 amplification so I can get it up here where I want it to be. Um, so let's just say we've done that. So we've amplified it slightly and it's just going to adjust all these um, waveforms. Just take a few seconds. And then when that has done that, I then zoom in so I can see a few seconds on here and then click to the left. Um, zoom in a little bit more and then what I do is I look for the start which is zero zero until I start speaking and then I highlight where I'm not speaking and then click effect and then choose noise reduction and then what it, said, it tells you to do here is select a few seconds of just noise so that it knows what to filter out so you click get noise profile and then control and then tap A on your keyboard to highlight everything and then click effect noise reduction again um, and it sometimes it does give you an idea but you can play with these uh, these levels um, so if I click preview Hello, thank you for joining Vast Pipe in our tutorials I'm Martin Parker to me that sounds better uh, I'm not sure if you can actually hear it um, because my microphone is quite close I'm using a headset so I'm just going to click OK so that will do that it's going to take that long that's um, that's a shame <laughs> um, that's not all you can do <clears throat> and then when I've done um, the the noise reduction um, I don't have a cover over the microphone on my headset so there's no foam around it or anything so what I do is I adjust the bass and the treble just a slight smidge um, and just to uh, to get rid of any slight like tinniness or to the sound so whilst I when I do this I have my headphones um, and the volume set to maximum um, 
so I can hear the best quality at the loudest volume if you if you know what I mean uh, that's another 20 odd seconds <clears throat> and there's another cough I'll have to get rid of but it fills a gap <laughs> um, Ten seconds. And here we go. Done. Right. So everything is already selected. Um, so I can just click on effect and then add um, bass and treble. Um, the bass is set there at the moment. Um, and the amplification, the output, it will boost in here as well uh, just like the amplify section um, and basically you click start playback Hello, thank you for joining so yeah, as, I don't, like I say I don't know if you can hear this or not but basically um, you can adjust these levels whilst the video, sorry the audio clip is playing so if I need to change the treble so you do get that slight hiss uh, right, in the background but I don't I prefer not to have it so I put it where I can not hear it um, depending on my voice sound I may adjust the bass so that would be clearly really bassy <laughs> sounds like Barry White um, then I can amplify it so I can make it louder so there you go. So that's what I would do. And I'd stop the uh, playback and then I would click apply. And 20 seconds and then that video, sorry, that audio is then prepared. done um, but this doesn't disappear because you can adjust again so don't do like I've made a mistake is where you click apply thinking it's it's not done it um, otherwise you'll just add extra bass less treble etc so click close on that so that's the output of the what I've done Hello, thank you for joining so the, vol the volume level has boosted slightly but not much because um, we haven't got rid of them them annoying coughs that I do um, so normally I could get the volume around about the about the 9 sort of area um, you don't have it too loud um, so that is pretty much it um, for that so what I need to do is I need to export this as an mp3 file uh, and this probably might take um, a minute or two to come out um, so I'm just going to go put this into where are you? recordings so I'm going to save the mp3 into here so it matches up with the video uh, you can add your name etc if you need to but I'm not particularly bothered so I'll click OK and this is going to take two minutes awesome whilst the pie is just sorting out that um, f effect I'm just going to show you how you can install Audacity so from terminal on your command line put sudo apt get install Audacity and press enter on that it's going to say that I've got got the latest version but um, it'll it'll say you want to press uh, press yes to install it um, and it will install into your software and it'll automatically go into the sound and video menu okay so that's how you'd install audacity and it's coming to an end Ta -da! and it's done right so I can get rid of that 
and close Audacity. Um, I don't need to save the original file, so I'll click no on that. So there is our recording. So now what I need to do is video editing. So I would have I would have the initial video, um, and I will have the audio using this file rather than the audio that was in this file because uh, you can you can split them um, so that's it for this video so thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one